What's up guys, Nick with Yuko here, and today we're going to be going over the unboxing and setup process for your brand new Gotway wheel. Now I'm going to be using the Gotway Nikola and briefly the Monster Pro to demonstrate some of the Bigoda app's new features. I'll be using the iOS version of the Bigoda app, but this will work for any Gotway wheel as well as the Android version of the Bigoda app. So the first thing you're going to want to do with your new wheel is of course take it out of the box. I'm just going to cut right here along the entire length of the box. We will first find the 100 volt 3 amp charger included in the box. After we remove that, we can go ahead and remove the top piece of foam to reveal the wheel, and then we can pull the wheel out of the box. Now your wheel is going to have this plastic wrapping on it too, as well as some padding on the pedals. We can go ahead and remove that plastic wrap, as well as the foam on the pedals. So now that we've got our wheel out of the box, I've placed it inside the bottom foam piece that came in the box. This will make sure that it stays steady and it will be helpful for the calibration process later. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the wheel. You'll notice that it'll start balancing. One important thing to note is that newer Gotway wheels will come locked with shipping mode enabled. Thankfully, it's really easy to turn this shipping mode off and get your wheel balancing. So you'll notice if I turn this wheel on, it does not start balancing, but it actually indicates that it's started to fall over. So in order to take the wheel out of shipping mode, we're going to depress the lift cutoff switch and then quickly tap the button five times. And now the wheel has been taken out of shipping mode. We simply restart it. And you'll notice that it starts balancing. The same method can be used to put the wheel back into shipping mode. Let's say if you want to send it in for repair. And you'll notice the wheel stops balancing. All right, back to the setup. And now that we've got the wheel turned on, we can go ahead and open the Bigode app. We'll search for our wheel. Let's just click on it and now we're connected. You can see you've got a speedometer in the main screen, battery on the left, temperature on the right, your current ride mode in the middle, as well as some quick toggles for sending the horn and toggling the light mode. Now onto the settings in the top right. The first setting is gonna change your ride mode. Strong mode is gonna give you very rigid pedals. Soft mode is gonna give you a little bit of play before the motor really starts to catch up with you. And medium is somewhere in between. Feel free to choose which mode feels best for you. I'm gonna go ahead and choose medium mode. Next setting is the alarm setting. We're going to go ahead and select turn off level 2 alarm. This is going to ensure that the wheel will not beep at you until it's absolutely necessary at the very top end of the wheel speed capabilities. You can also change the tilt back setting. Now this is in kilometers per hour, so if you know you're going to go faster than 60 kilometers per hour, I'd recommend setting this to off. But this is the speed at which the wheel will tilt back to notify you you might be going a little too fast. Note that if you turn off tilt back, you'll only be notified if you reach top speed by the wheel beeping at you, so keep a close ear out. You can also change LED settings straight in the app, instead of having to cycle through using the headlamp button. For example, if we want to jump from mode 4 all the way back to mode 1, we can do that. Now these last two settings, volume and maximum allowed tilt angle, are only present on newer Gotway wheels, such as the RS, EX, EXN, and Monster Pro. And I'll demonstrate those now. But I'm here with the Monster Pro now. I'm also connected to it in the Bigode app. Now we can demonstrate the first new feature, which is the volume setting. I have it set to 9 out of 9 right now, which we recommend to make sure that you can hear the maximum speed beeps. You can hear, if I use the horn feature, it's a pretty okay volume. But if we were to turn that down, let's say all the way to 1, we click confirm. If we go back now, the horn is noticeably quieter. Now the next feature I want to demonstrate, this is a feature that we've been waiting for for a long time, is the maximum allowed tilt angle. Basically what this feature does is it changes how far the wheel is allowed to lean to the side before it cuts off and the motor is disengaged. This can be helpful for people who want to do stunts on their wheel, go through berms, go to skate parks, things like that. Now you can choose between low, medium, and high. Right now we have it set to low. We can demonstrate what that looks like. We start perfectly straight up, but as I tilt the wheel down, You'll notice it disengages the motor about here. However, if we change it to something like medium and confirm, and we repeat the same test, you'll notice that it goes down a little bit farther. And if we enable the highest setting, 
And repeat the same test once more. It's going to take a lot lower angle to cut off. Now the last thing we're going to do, this is very important for initial setup to make sure your ride is smooth and solid. We're going to click calibration setting, click confirm. Now the wheel will disengage and start beeping. Now we can go ahead and turn off the wheel. And here's where we're going to make sure it is totally level, both forwards and backwards, as well as side to side. This will ensure that the zero point of the wheel during calibration is perfectly level in both axes. Now I'm going to use a bubble level for this to make sure the pedals are totally flat. So what I'm going to do is put one pedal down, lay the level on it, and tilt the wheel forward and back until I can see that the bubble is right in the middle of the level. After you've got that, you're just going to want to look at the wheel head on and make sure that it is as straight up as it can possibly be. So I'm just going to make sure it's nice straight up and down. And then we're going to power on the wheel, being very careful not to move it during the calibration process. Once the wheel starts doing that really long beep, it's okay to turn the wheel off. And then when we turn it back on, it'll be perfectly calibrated to our new settings. Now the Gotway app is relatively simple. I've already shown you the settings page, but now I'll just go over the main page. It will show you your speed in the middle, that's what this outer ring is for, your battery percentage on this green line, and your temperature in this orange line. The wheel will overheat once it gets to 80 degrees C or the end of this line, so be sure to watch for that. And as always, watch your battery level to make sure you don't go too fast at too low of a battery level. These buttons down here are horn. If you press this button, the wheel will make two short beeps, which acts as your horn. This button on the right will control the headlight setting. You can use it to turn the headlight on, turn it off, or make it flash. Before using your wheel, you're going to want to charge it up to 100% using the charge port on the front. Just plug your charging brick into the wall, plug the other end into this connector, and let it charge. While it's charging, there will be a green LED and a red LED. Once both of them turn green, you're ready to go at 100%. The last thing you're going to want to do before you go out on your very first ride is pump up your tire. Simply set the wheel on its side, rotate it until you can find the valve stem, and unscrew the cap. If you rotate the wheel and notice you can't find the valve stem, just flip the wheel over and it'll be on that side. So now that I've found the stem, I'm just going to unscrew the cap, and we can set that aside. I'm going to be using an automated air compressor for this tutorial, but any pump that fits on this type of valve will work, even a hand pump. So I'm going to attach my pump to the tire. We notice that it's at sort of a low pressure, around 19 psi. For the Nikola, I recommend to start out at around 35 psi and see how that feels. Tire pressure can greatly affect the way your ride feels, so I'd recommend playing around with your tire pressure so you can get it just right. So I'm going to go with 35. Now our tire is pumped up. We can go ahead and remove our pump, reinstall the valve stem cap, and we're ready to ride. All right. So now we're going to break, uh, put the pump together, and then we're going to pump the suspension on the Gotway Bigode EX. The pump, we have the handle, we have the feet or foot. We have the main shaft of the pump. Now this portion of it, this screw is already into here. This has already been tightened on there. We have the remainder. The one thing that everybody has been upset about when it comes to this pump, of course, is the fact that this part is at the bottom. So even when you're pumping, you still have to stop and pick up the pump to try and see it. Um, <clears throat> it's not one of the best designs, but seeing as it works in mega Pascals and instead of PSI, um, I haven't actually seen a pump yet that worked in mega Pascals instead of PSI. So I'm not sure how many options there are, <laughs> but this is what we have. And this is what we're going to work with. All right.
use the smaller screws for the bottom or hex head and then we'll put the handle on the top it does come with the correct size allen key by the way just in case you don't want you don't have a wrench like i do and you don't want to use something else yeah so this pops into the end of here and that goes into the air chamber <clears throat> this nut here goes on the end of here And one of the things to remember is that's the release valve. So if you tighten that, do what you need to do to pump, then release this first, then it'll release the pressure so you don't lose as much air when you're trying to take that off. Make sure that's nice and tight so we don't lose any air through there. There's a little lubricant that comes along with it. Put the lubricant on there before you put it together. You make sure that there's no residual air in the chamber. Then you go ahead and add on the extension rod piece that came with the pump. Then you're gonna pull back the collar on the pump itself. Secure it onto that rod. Make sure it's nice and tight. Push up and then you can pump it up. You can look on the side and see where you are when it comes to the mega pascal rating we are at seven i want to go higher because i weigh more all right <clears throat> so there you go once you are done pumping up the air you want to make sure that you release the valve here which releases the air that's in the pump. So when you pull it and release it from here, you won't have any residual air leaking out of the chamber. Then you're gonna remove the pin from here and do the same thing on the other side of the wheel. And that's all you have to do to inflate the air suspension on the Gatway Bigode EX. All right, in this tutorial, we learned how to set up your brand new Gatway wheel. If you have any questions about this process, be sure to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, maybe even subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.